will uh, come to the next point that uh, you can say application point of view this is very important because this is one of the best application of direct proportionality what is here here just will mix total cost equal to fixed cost plus variable cost or you can say it is a second format whatever was there a equal to k1 k1 b plus k2 that same thing it is written here in place of k2 it is f and in place of b it is n means total cost will be equal to fixed cost plus variable cost total cost will depend on numbers if countable if you are just dealing with any of the countable noun like person or maybe any of the product or maybe any of the things whatever countable then you can say it will depends on n that can be counted if it is not countable noun like uncountable noun means you can't count like a like like if you are producing the sugar if you are producing any of the raw material if you are producing the liquid then you can't count that is uncountable noun then we have to measure two activity we are doing two activity we are doing with uh, like you can say either we can count or we can measure counting means if it will be a integ integral number or if it is a countable noun if it is not countable noun we have to measure like we can't say three sugar we, ha we have to put some unit either three kg sugar or maybe three uh, you can say three ton sugar whatever will be there some unit of measurement we have to put then only we will able to understand this is uncountable noun if we are not putting any unit of measurement simple thing is there that is a number and that is countable then here total cost equal to fixed cost plus variable cost then two situation may be either you are dealing with the numbers or countable noun then uh, this total cost will depends on n and if you are just dealing with uncountable noun then you will you have to just uh, deal with the measurable quantity whatever will be given then total cost you can write f plus k into n f is fixed cost plus k n it will become variable cost correct 